It's uh, Cly here. I hope your day is going well. I figured I'd uh, take a snap at trying to make a little bit of a demo video here for the upcoming uh, alpha test release of the Hive.loan site. Uh, I've been working on it a little bit. Last week was kind of a write-off. I needed to just clear my head and get away from the console for a little bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm attacking the hours this week a fair amount now. It'll be some long days going forwards here. But yeah, no, I, I've got this site to a point where it's just dangerous enough that I have to finish more stuff in order for you guys to be able to come on and start testing with test accounts because there's a couple things right now in like the state that they're in where if you use them, you, there's a good chance you might break your account if I'm not paying attention. So uh, air on the side of caution when you guys are playing around on these uh, alpha development sites that I'm going to be pushing here more frequently because they are unfinished they are untested and yeah i'm not the worst coder but i'm definitely not the best coder either so keep that in mind um this gui will likely end up getting replaced it's well i, I kind of like the idea of it the whole kind of a windows or a desktop or whatever type thing but it has absolutely no consideration for mobile so hopefully a couple of the guys that have uh, approached me looking to uh help me with the gui come forward and help me with it because i suck at guis who knew so uh, the keychain is a little bit more advanced than the uh, hive signer stuff right now it's kind of what i've been focused on get that work 100 percent, and then flip back over to the hive signer stuff because it's a little bit more of a bugger to do but yeah no you, you log in and it, right now it takes you to your wallet right away um note that hbd is missing at the moment it's still there all of this stuff on the back end is there for it to be reinstated I just I just needed to declutter everything and kind of get myself as simple as possible to work on and then I can start adding more stuff up there and unfortunately just as I was going to go start this video all of my uh, stuff here at the bottom from my coin cap API crapped out on me so I might have to fork out a bit of money to those guys to grab their API or have more connection to it because it kind of sucks not having it but yeah, okay, so this is Hive.loans version 0.08 pre-alpha. And uh, I mean, yeah, you got simple stuff like chat working. Yeah, I can yeet. Not sure why the frick it sent to. I probably double tapped enter. Again, this stuff's still <laughs> un unfinished alpha, as it says right here. So I've kind of split the menus up a little bit here. We've got your wallet, some tools and whatnot, the Hive account, tool resources some settings here that aren't yet implemented the um the, the profile thing got a little bit buggered up here while i was making stuff so this is unfinished 100 percent unfinished it won't look like this at the end the, on the lending side though i have definitely made some progress I, again too this gui isn't this isn't the end this isn't what it's probably gonna end up looking like but i do have it to the point where you can create lending contracts and you can accept them it's just that I need to do some more polishing and some more sanity checks and whatnot j just to make sure that I'm not either giving the hive too quickly or make sure that their accounts all encrypted in the database and shit like that because you don't want to be putting like just straight up keys in plain text uh, that's a terrible idea and, and given the nature of this type of service I, I, I've got to deal with people's keys so what I'm doing at least initially here is uh, PGP encrypting everything both ways client side server side and then setting them back and forth encrypted just in case somebody was listening on the connection they will have a little bit harder time getting into that uh, that information which is what you want when you're dealing with keys especially in light of all the uh, phishing attacks and bullshit that we've had here um I'm not entirely sure if the uh, CFDs will make it into version 1.0, but it is something I've decided to branch the site into as well. So we'll have our uh, P2P lending contracts where we're able to lend Liquid Hive to each other for the account HP. And then on top of that, we're going to be able to have a community bankroll in order to fund the bankroll that the future players. Um, basically gamble against and then we'll distribute the uh, losses and profits accordingly a little bit of a slight commission but this is this is a uh, ways out I, I didn't even want to exactly like oh man this is coming right now because it probably won't make version one 
it might though we'll see what the next uh month here looks like i've got to get the uh, contract stuff done and at least at least damn near perfectly polished before i start uh putting any time and effort into the cfd stuff but uh, that's another thing coming um dividends as well too i still got a decent percentage of the site's uh total monthly revenue that can be given away and what i've decided to do is essentially have my all uh, my own um i wouldn't call it share but my own ability for the user the community to come in and buy essentially well i wouldn't call it share. it's like stock in the company and that will entitle you to a certain percentage of the monthly revenue of the site depending on what percentage of the uh available stock you own so that'll be interesting and they'll be tradable on the site as well as in between um, users so you guys can do your own OTC trades and whatnot. I am hooking up an escrow to this site here, hopefully version 1.0, we'll see. But yeah, no, it's <laughs> there's still a lot of stuff to build and it's not that it's particularly super difficult, it's just that there's a lot of moving parts that need to be put together, tested, double tested, sanity checked, and then checked again. Because when you're dealing with, for one, people's funds, for two, people's accounts, and for three, you're facilitating trades into amongst people, there's a lot of responsibility on the service to do this shit right. Because if they don't, then, well, it's not worth anything, right? But yeah, um, these tables aren't what they will be at the end. There is more um, menus and sub-menus that you can pop up. And again, too, this is proof of concept GUI here. This isn't what it'll end up looking like. I'm almost 100% sure. But yeah, like, I mean, right now I can come in here. Well, I guess I can't, te I can't technically on this one because it's too much. But if I had, oh, 20. There you go. So this one I can maybe afford. So amount 5, 30% uh, interest rate. We paid zero. The total cost of the lending contract is 6.5 hive. So I can actually go in here and query the server to accept it. And if I put my master password or my owner private key in here, it will uh, absolutely it'll take it. It'll give me the hive and it'll change all my keys. But right now it doesn't pop the keys back up here where it's supposed to. That that's the plan. It'll pop up your new keys here. Right now it does it in the console, so I'm not going to show you guys that right now because it is still, like, for a developer it works, but for a normal user it's absolute horse shit. Excuse my French, but still a long ways to go. Um, lo lots of stuff getting broken. I, you guys with your um, <laughs> your founder ranks here that who are supporting the, um, the proposal 154, th thank you guys by the way. But those of you who are supporting the proposal all get your uh, founder ranking, which will give you 50% off of the fees on the site. So, I mean, if you haven't voted the proposal yet, go in there and do it. And basically a screenshot will be taken at the end of the proposal. And any accounts that have this uh, founder status will have 50% off the site fees. A anywhere where it's possible, basically. And, um, yeah, Coin Instant, of course, won the benefactor. He's got 10% of the monthly revenue of the site forever. And he's also stepped forward to help me with some GUI stuff. So big ups to him. He's been a huge, huge supporter of this project and uh, my, my development efforts on it. And I highly appreciate that. Um, oh, looks like my <laughs> my backer rank is broken right now. But that makes sense because I took out a table that I probably shouldn't have quite yet. But yeah, the site's... <sighs> it's f almost a working proof of concept at this point. But it's... F freaking dangerous in its current state that's why i haven't pushed any updates or done anything like that because i don't i don't want to upload this in a half done state where it's dangerous and people go and try to run their own version of it and they end up breaking their account or something crazy like that because I, I feel like an asshole if that happened um the uh again to this modular design of everything like it was kind of a neat idea in theory but it probably won't end up as the final uh the final version of this site we'll, we'll see whoever comes in and helps me with the gui will probably have a hell of a say on what it ends up looking like i've i'm not known for my uh front end work even though i started out with front end believe it or not um i got the logout button here everything like that doesn't appear to be working right now oh yeah no oh, there it is it just takes a second 
Um, the site is a one pager. That's one thing too. It's kind of my own, I guess, custom mix of Express JS and uh, what else am I using? Well, that, that's basically a little bit of Bootstrap and uh, Node.js, Express JS, Sockets.io. The, the site is in real time too. Like it, it's completely 100% uh, WebSocket connected. So if like there's a price change and or if somebody posts a contract, it it all gets instantly updated right in front of everybody. That's one of the big things too. Like there's an on-chain aspect to it where the site is leaving breadcrumbs. So hopefully in the future, um, other nodes of the Hive Loans project will be able to pick up these breadcrumbs and fill up their databases with it. Sort of like how the blockchain does it now, but It'll be quite rudimentary at first, P2P. I, again, I've never built a, uh, a blockchain system myself, but might have a go at it. We'll see here. What I really like is a, a proper smart contract EVM distributed WebAssembly node going and then have a bunch of guys running that, kind of like Ethereum. But that's probably more of a Q3 or Q4 thing before that gets attempted because I have some more stuff I need to do after this. Um, yeah, so this is basically the, uh, just the video I wanted to make. So, sorry for the rambling on there. I kind of started the camera and went, oh, fuck, okay, well, I forgot everything I was going to say. But, yeah, um, hopefully, I'm hoping by Sunday I can have this version up and we can technically have loans going. But, again, too, this won't be anything that I expect anybody to use in these early parts. And I actually ask that you don't use it. Even if it's available, don't. <laughs> because there are going to be bugs in these initial versions. And until I can have 20 or 30 people come through here and test it for a few weeks. And we try to break everything and red team it. And do all the security patching that needs to be done and whatever else. Like, just... Please don't. If you do want to use it here, once it gets uploaded here, end of the week, use a dummy account. <laughs> Make yourself a dummy account, put 20 or 30 Hive on the Hive Power or something like that and start dicking around with the contracts. I do need to still build the uh, cron jobs in for the repayments of the stuff and a little bit of the automation on that side too. So that's kind of my push here in the next few days. But yeah, no, other than that, um, I'll leave you guys to it. Thank you for uh, watching and reading and supporting all that jazz. I highly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.